welcome to communication skills for everyone if you are watching this channel first time please subscribe today let us learn the lord the baby by rabindranath tagore rabindranath tagore was one of the most celebrated bengali language poets of his time although he has received greater acclaim for his short stories tagore won the nobel prize for literature in 1913 His stories are sufficiently straightforward however and therefore have not been dissected as more thematically complicated ambivalent tales like those of uh, Kafka and uh, Chekhov his stories including my lord the baby are reminiscent of an astren anton chekhov and the master of the form the part 1 of my lord The baby begins with a 12-year-old boy named Roy Charan. He leaves his village and enters the home and service of a man who shares the same caste as Roy Charan. Roy Charan becomes the private servant of the man's so uncle. From birth up until the day that the boy leaves for college, he is uncle's personal attendant. After uncle marries, he makes Roy Charan the servant of his new son, who is called the little master in the story. Roy Charan takes pride in his work and uh, finds great pleasure in the child. The story contains several passages in which the reader sees Roy Charan's joy in reading to the boy. reading to the boy when the child begins to walk it is an epoch in human history he plays with the child night and day when he tutters the words baba mama and chana this is what the baby calls raicharan raicharan's asketi new to no bounds uncle your yeah, uncle buys a small go cart for his son and uh, drops him in silks and finery including golden ornaments bracelets and more when the rainy season approaches the child is dreadfully bored while confined indoors one day on which the rain has lifted raicharan puts him in the cart and pulls him down to the river bank the boy sees a lovely tree covered in flowers and raicharan can tell that he wants one he tries to distract the boy by showing him birds and various other diversions but the child is intractable finally raicharan asks him to stay in the cart for boils him from going to the water and waits in it to get the flower when he returns the child is missing when evening comes and raicharan has not returned with the child uncle and mother go out searching they find raicharan running along the banks calling out little master over and over heart broken under questioning he says that he knows nothing about what happened they promise him anything if he will tell them but he has no answers he is sent from the house the mother tells uncle that she suspects that raicharan had stolen the child possibly to sell it to the uh, gypsies who were also rumored to be in the area at the same time the baby had gold ornaments on his body she says it is enough to convince her in part 2 raicharan returns to his village his wife bears him a son named filana and then dies raicharan initially feels an intense resentment of the child feeling that it someone intends to replace the little master who was so recently lost he feels extreme guilt at the prospect of being happy about his own child in the aftermath of such strategy soon he is as affectionate and loving with his own son as he ever was with the little master however there is an unsettling development as the boy develops begins to work and to do all of the things that babies do roycher is reminded of the little master 
His son's actions seem uncannily similar, and he manages to convince himself that it is the little master reincarnated in his own home. He considers three facts uh, uh, behind dispute. One, the new baby was born soon after his little master's death. Second, his wife could never have accumulated such merit as to give birth to a son in middle age. And third, the new baby walked with a turtle and called the Baba and Mama. In the logic is far from ironclad, but he remembers that the mother accused him of stealing her child. If this is truly the little master recorrenated, he feels that he deserves her acquisition. In the final sequence of the story, Roy Churn begins spoiling Philanda just as Uncle did for the little master. He spends money. He doesn't have to clothe him in satin and send him to fine schools. He, When he visits Philan Philana, the other students are amused by his uh, country manners and they wonder how the intelligent uh, Philana could have such a bumpkin for a father. Soon, Philana is asking for more money and there is nothing Raicharan can give him. He visits the city where Uncle is practicing as a magistrate and tells him that he lied about the little master. He had kept him all along and now wishes to make it right. Uncle is suspicious of the claim as there is no proof that Philana is the little master. However, his wife's reactions makes it irrelevant. She accepts the child wholeheartedly believing that he is hers and they send Raicharan away. They then the story ends with uncle sending money to Roy Chiran's village. But there is no longer anyone there with that name. Thank you for watching. Subscribe communication skills for everyone for more academic and educational videos.